So a while back, I was working on mixing a lead vocal. We had a lot of different effects returns or bus channels that were kind of acting as effects returns. Now, whenever you need to control uh, a lot of different effects returns, like for example, one section of a song where you need everything to come completely dry for a moment, or if you're happy with the automation or the general balances, but you want to bring everything up for something like a chorus so that it sounds a little bit more processed, and then kind of back off of things during a verse or something. In my opinion, there's no better way to do that than by using uh, a VCA channel. So what do I mean by this? Okay, so I have a basic session pulled up here and we have some effects returns in Studio One and you can see that by default, these are solo saved. This is something that Studio One does and I think in 95% of the cases, this is a good thing. What this basically means is that if you're listening to a source and you solo it out, that anything where you're sending to an effects return or a bus channel for some parallel processing, that that will also be soloed. Like I said, I think in general, that's a good thing. Now, let's have a quick listen over here. So if I wanted to make that section become completely dry, or I wanted to basically drop it off, or I wanted to even increase the amount of the effects returns that we have. Like I said, the really awesome approach to doing that is I'm just going to command click these effects returns over here. We can right click add VCA for selected channels. This allows us to, let's go to the end here. So for example, I can pull everything down and if you want to as well, you could also automate this. So this could be something where you're automating this dynamically. Okay, so lots of different uses. As you see over here, we basically have the benefit of using one fader and then the automation on all of these effects returns is following. So I don't really think this is new news. I'm sure a lot of people know this already and probably a lot of you are already using a VCA channel as kind of like an effects master. But one thing that I discovered recently, which I actually didn't know, I'm surprised this never really clicked before, is when I wanna solo something, nine times out of 10, I wanna hear that in context. If I have, for example, a reverb and a delay or multiple effect sends, I wanna hear that. So I think it's a good thing that we have the solo safe option. Now, how do we get rid of that? Or if I just wanted to solo the track out, but I didn't wanna hear that, we have a pretty quick and easy way that we can just hold down shift modifier and we click any one of these solos and that will basically make it so that if I was to solo out a track, these groups are enabled here. Let's just suspend this for a moment. If I wanted to solo out this, now I'm only going to be soloing the track and the effects returns that are associated with this, they're not gonna follow. All right, and then of course we can bring that back by holding down shift and clicking on the S. But here's something that's kind of cool because what I realized is that you can actually solo safe the uh, VCA channel, and it's not that it's going to turn green, but it will toggle it on and off for all of the channels that are associated with that. So for example, watch this. I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm gonna click the solo option. You can see that it toggled the solo safe enable on all of these channels. And if I do this again, I can turn them off. So why do I find this so useful? Well, many times in a mix, I might want to be checking something, but I don't want to hear any effects. So a really easy way to be able to do that is I may have different delay throws and different sends that, that are being automated from the individual channels. And I don't necessarily want to kind of backtrack and find each one of these sends and deactivate it or globally, or maybe I just want to deactivate one of these sends, like I, I want to take the delay out for a moment. I don't really want to do that. What I find to be much easier is to come into the effects return and if it's solo saved, just to hold down shift and basically remove this temporarily from being soloed. But with this option over here, this allows me to do this globally. And I think that's pretty useful because if I wanted to temporarily be just listening dry, and let's say I had a bunch of automation that's happening both on the VCA master and all of these individual channels, just a simple shift click on the solo on the S rather, by holding the shift modifier, that allows me to do that really, really easily. 
So I find that to be a really useful tip and it's something that I'm going to be using from now on. Now that I know it's there, I can just pull up that VCA channel, have it associated with any effects return or bus channel that I have and a quick shift modifier click on the solo tab will allow me to basically toggle the solo safe state of all of my effects channels in my whole entire session with one click very easily. Anyways, that's all the time I have available for today. I hope that you enjoyed this content. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will do my absolute best to get back to you. And as always, we will catch you in the next video. Cheers.